Hello guys, this is Keith here. I'm excited to, to, to be with you. Um, today we're going to do a statement of financial position. We're going to do question 2.3, uh, 2.4, sorry. I just want to pull out the question so we can start discussing the question. Uh, yes, that is, that is a question there statement of financial position uh, let me pull out the question oh wonderful it's question 2.4 we're supposed to spend no more than 36 minutes on the question and you see it's it's pretty packed uh, okay let me just read uh, what it says it says the following information was obtained from the accounting records of T super and B men trading as superman traders nice name so number one we have a list of balances okay as you can see there's a list of balances i'll mark it off all this uh, it's a list of balances okay all the way down there okay that's a list of balances and then number two it's additional information uh, that's number two there additional information Okay, we go to the next page. Okay, there's the next page. Still additional information. Wonderful. And we're gonna jump jump right into what's required. Uh, okay. Okay, we need to know what is required. Wonderful. So we need to know what is required. Okay, so we need to know what is required. Okay, it says here with regard to the super to superman traders, it's two point one. Prepare the statement of financial position as at twenty eight Feb twenty eleven. That's the first thing we should do. And then the second thing we should do is prepare only the note in respect to property, plant, and equipment. The total column can be omitted. Okay, wonderful. So, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm committed to showing you the easiest way to answer your questions. And I don't want to complicate your lives and give you too much information that you don't need. I have only one objective here, to help you guys pass. And that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so... This is how you can answer this question easy. You can start first with 3.2. You'll see why. Start first doing 3.2. Okay. And then once you're done, you see 3.1 is easy. Okay. It's easy. But also because 3.2 has more marks. So like I said in my period to analysis, always focus to where there are more marks first. While your brain is fresh and you feel, you know, you're into it and, you know, your mind is working at its full capacity, you want to invest that energy in what's really going to give you a good return. Okay. Wonderful. So, I'm going to go to the next, uh, to the next, to, to the other side of the question. Yeah, here. Okay, I'm going to come this side. I just want to remove my markings here. Okay, yeah, they're all gone. Um, the first thing I do always I start with additional information because that's where I have to do all the adjustments. Okay, that's where I'm gonna start. So we'll start with two. We'll, we'll start with 2.1. So, like I said, I'm gonna first start with the notes for the plan for the property, plant, and equipment. And like I always say, know the layout. I cannot help you with that. So I'm just gonna pull out the layout and just plug values into it. Okay, this. What you see now here, you should know this by by heart. I cannot help you with that. Okay, this you should know by heart. Okay, I just want to make it bigger so everybody can see. You know, um, this you should know by heart. Okay, wonderful. So now I'm gonna start with this first, and then we'll move to the first question once we're done okay so the first adjustment says landing buildings consist of land erf mid rent 
it was bought on the 1st of March 2008 for 900,000 okay and if you remember on our layout the first thing is the carrying amount at the beginning of the year okay I just want to explain that a little bit because I know this question is making a lot of people unhappy because lots of people are confused so look at this part beginning of the year right very important so when I go back to our questions I want to show you something um, I want to show you something if you look at our financial statement sorry our balances our list of balances I think yes if you look at our list of balances do you see what's written there as at 28 Feb 2011 okay so that means your balances it's from the beginning wherever it starts until the 28th of Feb but does not necessarily always include what you had at the beginning of the year meaning at the beginning of we at the beginning of uh, 28 Feb. Okay, so excuse my spelling. At the beginning of 28, 28 Feb, 2010. That's what that's what we're referring to when it's in the beginning of the year. We're saying 28 Feb, 2010. So we're more interested in what what properties did did the partnership own? Okay, at the beginning of 28 Feb, 2010. Makes sense. So. As you can see that they do put dates on 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 the trial balances to show you or oh, this could also mean or okay the first March 2010 okay so that's what we're interested in we're interested in how uh, the property that the company owned on those dates or before those dates but after that date it does not apply okay unless we we don't have the information to 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 imply that it was after that date we'll make some assumptions on that okay let's go back to our okay so we need to know the land and buildings at the beginning of the year hopefully it makes sense now okay so if you go to our trial balance we'll look at land and buildings okay sorry we first started our, at our additional information so this property was bought on the 1st of March 2008 okay and what's our date of interest 2010 okay the building was erected during the year the cost of 600,000 was occupied on the 1st of January 2011 okay so what we do here right what we need to do here is we'll take I'll put it up here just to save space we know that we had 1.5 million right we know that much we had 1.5 you know before after the beginning of the year we that's what we end up with and we also do know that during the year okay so uh, we do know that um, no sorry we don't need to do the calculations because they're showing us they're showing it to us here that on the first of March which is way before uh, two thousand and nine nine hundred thousand right like I said we two thousand and ten so we know that before um, Feb twenty eleven the partnership had had a vacant land for and the body for nine hundred thousand right so that's why I'm putting it there I hope it makes sense guys okay sorry uh, actually it's supposed to come here under cost okay and then we need to find the depreciation for that year how much was it okay <laughs> So the next question is did we have depreciation on our property we'll look through it um, as you can see on here that there was no depreciation do you see that there was no depreciation and nothing is mentioned of depreciations the only depreciation is buildings make make sense of that it's buildings 
it's not land so land does not depreciate so we do know that uh, our depreciation is zero so that means our carrying amount is normally de uh, cost minus depreciation is 900,000 okay wonderful okay we're done there let's go to 2.2 .2. on the 30 Feb uh, equipment with a cost price of 35,000 was sold at a loss okay so I'll come back to that I'm, I first want to know the carry uh, the carrying amount okay at the beginning of the year for equipment okay I want to know the carrying amount for the equipment now how much the company have at the beginning of the year and the depreciation so I want to see under additional information are they saying anything about it okay I know equipment was sold sometime during the year so it does not apply for what I'm looking for now okay uh, so I'm looking around this nothing there right okay so if that does if there's nothing my assumption will go to what's on the trial balance so equipment it's it's 280 right so don't forget let me show you something uh, very important I'm gonna call this workings number one I'm gonna call this workings number one uh, insert okay insert symbol okay number one okay um, what I know is on my trial balance equipment is 280 at 280,000 that is at the end of to at the end or towards the end of the year and I want to know the value at the beginning of the year so I know that I need to to add the equipment that are sold which have been doing the year I want to know the value uh, let's see what was sold okay so on the 30th of, of November do you know the year of my interest is 28 Feb or 1st of March anything after that it's during the year so I need to the equipment was sold which cost 35,000 right so I need to add 35,000 here because at the beginning of the year it was not sold yet so I'm trying to determine how much uh, did the partnership have at the beginning of the year so it will be 280,000 plus 35,000 it cost to 315,000 three one five thousand all right wonderful so let me go up it comes here put in your kings number one and then to be three one five thousand depreciation still applies also uh, okay so depreciation let's go back Appreciation was twelve thousand and eighty, right? We do. We we'll call it workings number two, where we where we calculate the depre depreciation. Okay, workings number working number two. Number two. Where well, we know the depreciation was for the equipment that was sold. Let's first go for the depreciation on the trial balance. it there here's it here it's 80,000 so it will be 80,000 80, okay close the equipment that was sold it was what 12,060 
60 equals to can we get that it's 80,000 plus 12,060 equals to 92,060 nice okay that's workings number two where we calculate the depreciation for the equipment at the beginning of the year please understand that part that's why we're adding back the equipment we sold because at the beginning of the year it was not sold yet okay so that's workings number two and then how much was it mm -hmm. it was 92,060 okay 2060 okay well let's go back to our chart balance where is it uh, yeah if you go to our trial balance do you see this one here i think it's put they put it here to confuse you do you see it here the depreciation equipment as at, as at 13 november 2010 okay it's 1860 we also need to add that because our date of interest we know that we're looking for before the 28th of feb and that was after so we need to add it back okay so we need to add 1,000, 1,860, okay, plus 1,860, equals to 93,920, okay, so it's 93,920, I need to plug it in. Okay, so far so good. Okay, uh, okay, my mistake. We need to subtract it because it was a depreciation that was accumulated during the year. So at the beginning it did not accumulate it yet. So one thousand and sixty minus one thousand sixty. Come on. Man, technology, the joys of technology. Okay. I don't know. It's getting upset about something. Okay, so the answer I'm getting is Ninety thousand two hundred. Can I explain that one thousand eight sixty? The one thousand eight sixty is the depreciation that was accumulated during the year. Okay, it's not a de depreciation like the one for twelve thousand and sixty that was there. Then you know the equipment was sold, right? And the the the, the equipment depreciated that much before the year started okay but it was subtracted out of our trial balance because the equipment was sold and then the 1860 it's what it's what our equipment depreciated to during the year okay and the, the the what we're trying to determine now is the depreciation the beginning of the year that's why i'm subtracting it um yeah hopefully that makes sense okay so it's ninety thousand ninety thousand two hundred okay it's ninety thousand two hundred. Okay. Um let's go to the to the vehicles. Okay. Um on the vehicles I also need to find the the um the cost of all our vehicles at the beginning of the year. Okay. So normally I will start at the additional information. Do we have anything on vehicles here? Let's go to the other page. Okay. This there's nothing here. Okay. Then I need to go back to our trial balance and look for anything that talks about our vehicles. Here's it yet hundred and seventy thousand. Okay, we need to look for other places. You saw what happened last time that when you assume that's the only place, always look for anything on vehicles. 
don't take you long, that long then you see there's nothing else so then we go and then we know that the cost of our vehicles as far as we know it's 170,000 okay 170,000 and then um, um, we still need to find the depreciation okay and compared to my trial balance depreciation is 24,000 okay because um, as far as we know you know we did not sell or get any extra uh, vehicles during the year so it's 24,000 24,000 24,000 okay then you can just put the totals up there put the totals up there okay let me do that quickly so it's uh, I need to bracket this to show that it's a negative Nice. Then it's three one five thousand minus ninety thousand two hundred. It's giving me two two four eight hundred. Then also here applies it's seventeen hundred seventy thousand. Minus twenty four thousand. It's giving me on forty six thousand. Okay. The same applies here. It's uh, nine hundred thousand. Okay. It's nine hundred thousand plus two two four eight hundred plus hundred and forty six hundred and forty six thousand gave me 1.27 million 1 million 270,000 okay it's giving me 1 million 270,000 hmm. okay and then same applies it's it's 900,000 Plus three hundred fifteen thousand. Plus one hundred seventy thousand. It's giving me one million three hundred eighty-five thousand. Okay. Then depreciation. It's it's ninety thousand two hundred. Plus twenty-four thousand. It's giving me. Um, Hundred and fourteen thousand two hundred. Bracket that our know, depreciation. So we've done everything for the beginning of the year. Now the next question is what happened during the year? Did we buy equipment? Did we sell equipment? Okay. Or oh, anything, vehicles or land or stuff. Do you remember at the beginning of our of our um, of our additional information we learned something important there? The building was erected during the year, cost six hundred thousand. So something was added for six hundred thousand, right? Something was added. A building was added for six hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand was for the piece for the land, and then they put a building in for six hundred thousand. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, and then, um, what else? Okay, so this is done. Let's move down on our additional information. Okay, on the 30th, the 30th, Feb 2010 equipment with a cost price of 35,000 was sold at a loss of 3,000. Okay, so we know that equipment was sold, right? And what we need to put into our uh, notes for the property plant okay uh, we need to be able to account for that all right for the equipment that was sold so um, 
35,000 that was the price minus the depreciation then we get the book value and that's what we need to put in our books we need to put in the book value of the equipment that was sold okay and then the the profit side of it you know whether we did we made profit or we made a loss that will be taken care of in the um, profit or loss statement here we're not interested in the in the profit per se we just want to declare uh, the cost the value of all our, of all our equipment okay so we said the equipment was 35000 right minus the depreciation which was uh, 12000 and 60 and then that gives us the book value of the equipment okay let me calculate that it's 35,000 minus 12,060 it's giving me 22,940 that's the book value of our equipment okay 22,950 so I need to put that under disposals meaning equipment disposals the stuff that we got rid of a nice name uh, so that's workings number three which gives me 22,000 okay 940 easy guys so disposals stuff that we sold additions stuff that we added during uh, the year okay wonderful now let's move on and then we need to find something on vehicles So I think we are done here. Depreciation must must still be provided. We'll do that once we calculate depreciation for the year. For the year ended, which is the current year that we focused on. And then um, inventory consists of uh, we don't need that for now. And then um, the long term loan amount transferred. Okay, so it looks like we're done with additions, just that small part that we have to go back to. Okay, let's go to our trial balance. Then vehicles, anything on vehicles? I just want to see if I can mark off anything on vehicles. Okay, so vehicles. Um, we Nothing happened during the year, we did not sell any... Uh, we did not buy any it's still the same so it uh, on our notes you see you've put dashes there to mean you know not, we didn't add anything on our equipment there's a dash there we didn't buy any, add anything on our vehicles we didn't sell any vehicles so that's why you see all those dashes there okay and then um, now we need to calculate the depreciation for the year okay so now start with property um, need to go back to our trial balance where they show us how to calculate it uh, they said buildings is two percent per annum with the straight line balance method so that's a very easy one two percent per annum so let's do the workings let me see if I can fit everything in here so we don't go to the next page it's, it always takes more time to move up and down okay so we put workings number four. Uh, number four. Okay, so we know that we bought, we, we built that land for 600,000, right? Times that by uh, is it 2% per annum. 2% per annum times that by 2%. Then we get our, our depreciation. 600,000 times 2%. It's giving me. Working number four. Okay. Okay, let me see that. Um, Six hundred thousand times two percent. Right. Um, okay, that's working number four. Okay. Times 
because we bought the equipment during the year we didn't buy it at the beginning we bought it in the middle if you remember correctly so I just need to find out when did we buy it because here it says that we bought it from the 1st of Jan 2011 and what's our year of interest it's 28 Feb 2011 so yeah 1st of Jan 2011 so let me do that okay just do that um, 1st of Jan 2011 to okay, 31st of Jan, no, 31st of Feb 2011, which gives me two months, right? Gives me two months, so that will be times. 2 over 12 okay so it will be 600,000 times 2% times 2 over 12 it's gonna give me 2,000 okay so that's working is number 4 so depreciation for the year is it's 2,000 Okay, 2000. So let's go to equipment now. So, as far as we know, we we sold equipment, so it's gonna become interesting. Uh, as far as we know, that's what we did. So, we need to account for that when we do the when we do the what's that when we do the when we calculate the depreciation. So, this you shouldn't also forget this thing here that we already calculated the depreciation right for something for one of the equipments for the year we should we should also add that it's already calculated so what we need to do we, we need to subtract out uh, we need to take out the the equipment sold and get the depreciation for that okay. let's do that um, um so it's gonna be let's go back to our trial balance it's gonna be uh, the equipment the equipment okay. um, Equipment, it's it's gonna be two eighty minus eighty thousand, right? So it's gonna be workings, workings number five. Okay. Just leave right number five there. Mm, Two hundred eighty thousand minus the depreciation for the year. Right. Then you times that by ten percent. that they gave us it's 1860 okay uh, this depreciation here okay my assumption is that it's a depreciation for the equipment that was sold because it was not sold by the beginning of the year so it did depreciate somehow during the year so that's how we're adding it there Two hundred and eighty thousand. Okay, minus 
18,000 times 10 percent right class 1860 it's giving me 21,860 workings number 5 21,860 working number 5 21,860 working number 5 1860 okay wonderful and then we need to calculate the the depreciation for for, for the Okay, um, now we need to calculate the depreciation for, for the vehicles. So as far as we know, we have not sold any vehicles. So we're not supposed to have a problem there. So let's go. Um, okay, vehicles. I need to go to the next page. It's 20% per annum. Straight line method. Straight line method is it's always nice to work with. Less, less stress. Okay, so we're gonna do workings number six now. Looks like I have to go to the next page. Workings number six. Uh, number six. So I need to find the cost minus the you know, the cost. That's all I need. Go to the next page. What's, what is the cost of my vehicles? Okay, as you can see, it was 170,000. So it's gonna be 170,000 times 20%. Equals to, let me calculate that, it's 170,000 times 20%. It's giving me 34,000. Straightforward. So I need to plug that in. So we king we kings number six okay is thirty four thousand that's thirty four thousand okay <sighs> wonderful okay so this is this must all be bracketed because that's depreciation okay so we need to bracket that okay it's a negative bracket that okay and bracket that okay Wonderful. And bracket that also. Uh, I forgot to put the workings here. That will cost me if that answer is wrong. Bracket the 2000. And then also put workings number 4. It's number 4. Okay. Okay, so you guys can see it's not that hard. You just have to know what goes where that's all but this tend to be confusing most times but if you do you show your workings even if you make a mistake you still get good marks on it okay um workings number okay um so we have it there um then we i'm, I'm not gonna put the totals yet i don't think you're gonna have a problem doing them you've seen how i did the first one so it's it's very straightforward i'm just gonna get them the other uh, things in place so the next thing is to find your land and buildings the carrying amount okay there's it there no sorry the cost that's the next thing you need to find the cost okay once you have the cost um, you can you can also find the depreciation okay then the difference will give you the 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 carrying amount okay or sometimes you'll see we'll get we'll get the carrying amount 
so that because it will be too complex for us to get the depreciation so we get the carrying amount and the cost and we can work out the depreciation okay so let's start with lending buildings uh, i'm just gonna put this as workings also just for your sake so that you know you, it doesn't confuse you i know it tends to confuse students from time to time okay now we need to find the cost for for the year ended the cost at the end of the year for the land and buildings okay now that's easy because then you add you add your you go carrying them out at the beginning of the year minus the depreciation plus the additions right and that will give us six hundred thousand plus nine hundred thousand to give us 1.5 million Okay, that is straightforward. Depreciation, we know we only have one. That's it's that two thousand there. It's that two thousand there. Okay. Like I said, I'm not gonna do the totals. Um, those are easy. You can figure them out. And then the next thing is, uh, we need to find. No matter what I will do here, I will get the carrying amount, which will come up here first. I'll get that first, and then I'll get the cost, and then you'll see it to be easy to work out the depreciation. Okay, that's, that's supposed to work out very nicely. Okay, so the cost, um, the cost, um, it's going to be... And the cost price at the beginning of the year, right? Uh, which not also let's see the carrying amount at the beginning of the two 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 four eight hundred, right? Uh, it's gonna be two two four eight hundred. Okay, so don't forget that we, we sold uh, a piece of equipment. Um, we did sell a piece of equipment during the year. Uh, we also need to account for that okay so what what I will calculate first is the carrying amount which is easy to calculate it will be two two four eight hundred okay minus twenty two nine forty minus twenty one eight sixty I'll get the carrying amount which is hundred and eighty thousand that's very easy to calculate okay so I take my I take my carrying amount minus the additions minus the de depreciation for the year I know how much I'll have at the end of the year it's 180 <laughs> okay that's very easy uh, to calculate okay and then the next thing I will do is I'll get the uh, the cost okay because I do know that um, my carrying amount minus the cost must give me the depreciation okay and then if i go to my trial balance i think that's where you find the answer go to my trial balance uh, equipment okay let's go to equipment do you see what's the cost of my equipment it's at the end of the year it's 280 do you see it so that's how i know that i must put 280 there and then that minus that gives me depreciation that's how I calculate it because it's the easiest way to get to it okay then we go to the last part okay so same thing applies uh, you can get your cost right it's very easy to calculate right so your cost price because what happened here you didn't do much during the year right you didn't sell anything you didn't do anything so your cost price will stay the same okay and then you know your depreciation will be uh, 24,000 plus 34,000 which will give you 58,000 sorry 58,000 bracketed okay and then that plus that will give you your carrying amount, which is uh, one one two zero zero. 
easy. Okay. We choose one one two eight hundred. And then I can just add the totals. Like here, you know it's it's six hundred thousand. Okay, come down here. Okay, it's the only one twenty two bracket it. This one is how much? Can you put, since I'm putting them down, let me try to put it down here. It's gonna be 1.5 million. That's minus 3,000. It's gonna give me 1.498 million. guys at the bottom it's gonna be 1.5 million I'm sorry one four nine eight zero zero plus This one is going to be 1.5 million plus 280,000 plus 170,000. Just give me 1,950,000. And then this one, okay, it's going to be 2,000 plus 100,000. 60,000 sorry let me bracket it 760,000 there you are done okay so uh, it's it's very easy I don't think it's that tough the only tough thing is determining the the depreciations the always a headache and the additions and the disposals but you just have to know you know understand it don't try to cram it into and I don't think it's possible understand how everything you know fits into this thing you know memorize the layout and I think if you do that you know don't don't try to get everything hundred percent you know try to get most marks and you'll be fine okay I think so so click the link below to get the detail workings which I used in the video and this is what these are some of the things that you will learn from those workings you will learn how to calculate depreciation for the year you will learn how to calculate accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year. You will learn how to calculate the cost, whether the cost of equipment, the cost of vehicles, the cost of buildings, and the cost of property. You will learn how to determine the costs at the beginning of the year for all those things. You will learn how to determine whether the equipment or the vehicles was sold or bought during the year. You will learn how to determine depreciation for the year. You will learn how to calculate depreciation for the, for the end of the year. You also learn how to calculate accumulated depreciation at the end of the year. You also will learn how to determine the cost at the end of the year. You also learn how to de determine the carrying amount for, 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 the year, for, the, for the year end. And you will learn much, much more. So what you will learn basically is at the beginning of the year, the cost, the accumulated, accumulated depreciation, the carrying amount. During the year, you will learn 
which equipment was sold, which equipment was bought, and at the end of the year, you will learn the cost, the accumulated, accumulated depreciation, and also the carrying amounts. So this is some of the things that you will learn from the detailed workings that I've used in the video. So if you want those detailed workings, please click below, and you can actually, then I will email them to you. I will need you to enter your details so I can email you the detailed workings. And also, if you are interested, you can also click, be click below. You, you also have access to some of the videos I've worked on and also some of the videos I'm going to work on. So I hope this really helps, guys, and good luck.